you guys have both been on shows in the past that we have been big fans of. Um, obviously, you were both on One Tree Hill, which is, is that how you guys have stayed close? Yeah, we met, um, yeah, we were a couple just young knuckleheads in, in our early 20s when we first met on that show. Yeah, we've had a few of the cast members on uh, recently, actually. Chad Michael Murray was on like a few weeks ago um, and Hillary Burton. And I ask everybody the same question because I'm very curious about the way people feel about like iconic roles they were a part of when they were younger. And then, you know, people always associate you with that role and it's always talked about. How do you guys? Kind of sounds like this TV show too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, how do you guys feel about the time you spent on One Tree Hill and then the aftermath of it? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a good question because I think, um, yeah, you you it can be sort of a it can be viewed as like a double edged sword. I guess it's like it might be difficult for you to be seen as something else after you're part of something that was you know that was as beloved as as that as One Tree Hill. Um, and that is definitely something that we explore in the show. You know, it's like, how do you actually move on to that when so much of your identity is wrapped up in it? Um, but at the same time, like the reality is for me personally, you know, I look back on that experience so fondly because um, I was so young when I started the show and I, I learned so much on the show and I had my first opportunities to direct. And, um, you know, I had never lived anywhere else but Hemet, California, where I grew up and, you know, to be able to move to the East Coast and live in a town like Wilmington, which is so wonderful. Um, you know, I just felt like I grew up. I grew up on that show in a lot of ways. Um, and then when I stopped the show, I had a lot more growing up to do. Um, and so, yeah, it's 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 really cool. Like, I, I just I look back on it fondly and I think, um, you know, I'm really grateful for the experience. Are you happy that social media wasn't around when One Tree oh, Hill was really big? <laughs> <laughs> it's yes, still yes, really yes. big because obviously the streaming services, but I feel like you both got very famous in a time where it's, it was, you know, media outlets and tabloids are writing about you, but social media isn't necessarily like a thing. James is pretty pissed that he's not a TikTok star. Yeah, <laughs> you probably he, could be. He missed his calling there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. that's so um, funny. No, I feel it's funny. I always talk about that with friends from high school. It was like, uh, you know, we, uh, I think Facebook came around right when we hit college. Um, so, and by the way, I understand the irony of me saying this. Uh, I was happy that there was not social media when there was, there, we were in high school just for that whole, just the aspect of the pressure of all of that and, and, you know, be kind of consuming everyone's lives now. Um, uh, but, you know, I also did a reality show about my high school life. So there's like, <laughs> yeah, maybe you wish there was social media, buddy. It would have been a little more tame. <laughs> <laughs> or a little more wild. Yeah, it could have been but, worse. Yeah, good point, could've... good point, actually. Yeah, and you know, the streaming services, like you said, the streaming services are so great um, because, you know, we get projects like yours now that we can all watch. And on top of that, it's it's interesting just to like, deeply think about it right because you guys have made the show where you're these actors are are moving on with their lives from this big show that they can't really shake but with the streaming services now it's really even more hard to shake it because you can go back and watch one tree hill a million times which is you know something Rhea and i have done before you can go and back laguna and watch beach. you can watch laguna beach and be like wow for and you watch laguna beach for the first time and you're like you think you're watching you now but it's you in high school and so it's like even I think that even makes it harder sometimes for new projects and new perspectives to be seen like because it's you know you think Chase you think Nathan you see these characters you have these um kids who watch One Tree Hill for the first time at well, they're in high school now they're getting to watch for the first time so i really like the i i love the whole premise of of everyone is doing great i think it sounds really exciting and, and really really interesting because you guys are the kind of the pr prime example of like i'm sure you get do you when you're walking around like do you get nathan do you get chase like stopped all the time when people are well maybe steven i feel like steven i feel like you just get like because steven, steven has his reality tv <laughs> Be like really Steven. Those, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we get Kristen's uh, Steven from time to time. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. We feel like um, James and I have talked about this in, in the show. Like we, 
these characters we wanted them to come from like a, a seriously larger than life show like number one in the zeitgeist like for twilight uh, you know a comparison for um, right. or vampire diaries um and i don't know it feel like um it's it's just never been that that crazy uh for me or i i feel that way so you know i feel like um it's you know, it, it, it's not something that, um, you know, was ever overwhelming where like at the grocery store all the time you're, you're getting recognized. Um, so, but we wanted, we wanted to play with that idea in, in the show. Um, and, and it's just, that's, so that's what we did with these, making these, these characters, the characters that they played on their show within the show, larger than life. Uh, and then really having like basically, uh, quite a fall, uh, from that, from that point. Um, so that, that's what we did, but it, it's, you know, we, we could obviously, um, relate in a way, uh, and we know the world well. That's why we felt like it was important for us to set it in this world. We, we know the entertainment industry. Um, we, we know what it's like to be on a teen drama. Um, but like, thankfully, you know, over the years, like, you know, uh, it, it's nice to see people still appreciate what One Tree Hill or, or, or people that, you know, were, were close to Laguna Beach to have like, a, feel like a moment in time, um, I guess, when, when they watch that or, or it's a comfortable place for them or it brings them some sort of joy, maybe. I hope, um, <laughs> but, yeah. uh, you know, so I, I think that it's, you know, we're grateful to, to have that. Um, and, uh, we've also, you know, moved on with our lives to be able to do other projects, uh, other shows, films, TV and stuff like that. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's not necessarily a, you know, a bad thing to feel like there was this one thing where people can't shake that they, they know you from. Um, I don't think it's a bad yeah. thing. 